Cocaine and coca crop production in Colombia has reached record highs, as reported this month by the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. The report highlights an increase in coca cultivation and cocaine output between 2021 and 2022. Despite efforts to eradicate coca crops and the increase of cocaine seizures, the world is experiencing a growth in demand and supply of cocaine. This might hinder the efforts in converting coca crops into legal ones. Cocaine, first extracted from coca leaves in 1859, spread in the 1970s as it became popular among high flyers looking for an extra boost, both at work and at play. Since then, demand never stopped in its original form and as the much cheaper crack cocaine. Cocaine production was behind decades of armed conflicts in the Indian countries. Between drug cartels, guerrilla groups, paramilitary organizations, and government forces, killing at least 450,000 people. Currently, the U.S. is the biggest cocaine market worldwide, and overdoses involving cocaine have increased in the last decades. In Europe, cocaine is the second most frequently consumed illicit drug after cannabis, and Belgium is the country in which authorities seize the most cocaine. The illicit drug market is changing, and drug dealers are now using social media, as well as encrypted messaging apps like Signal, Telegram, and EncroChat to reach buyers. TikTok Shop is now open for business in the United States, kicking off its e-commerce venture in the country. Already available throughout parts of Asia and in the United Kingdom, September saw the short-form video platform launch its in-app shopping experience, now accessible to millions of TikTok users in the U.S. ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, will be hoping to tap into the lucrative U.S. e-commerce market, helping the company achieve its goal of growing its e-commerce business fourfold this year. While TikTok Shop expands sales in the U.S., the company remains committed to its key markets in Southeast Asia, where TikTok Shop has proved to be an extremely popular platform. In Southeast Asia, TikTok Shop has shown signs of being a sizable threat to incumbent players. In Vietnam, TikTok Shop took just 10 months from launch to become the second largest e-commerce platform behind Shopee. It is this sort of growth that has led analysts to suggest that TikTok Shop could soon begin to rival the likes of Amazon in the not-so-distant future. Direct access to a youthful, tech-savvy audience, combined with TikTok's unique algorithm, could act as a winning combination in allowing brands to display relevant products in a timely fashion. Given concerns raised by officials in the U.S., fresh obstacles imposed by Indonesia the company's biggest e-commerce market, show that TikTok will need to appease regulators in order to really challenge the leading players. Apple held the Wonderlust event in September, unveiling the new iPhone lineup and Apple Watch 9 series. The iPhone 15 is the latest addition to a range of smartphones that brings in around 200 billion US dollars each year. In fact, Revenue from iPhone sales generally makes up close to half of Apple's total annual revenue. For the iPhone Pro 128GB model, the listing price starts at $999 US dollars. Based on average income, Turkish buyers will have to hand over around four months average salary, compared with around five days in the US. One of the most talked about changes this year is the lightning port making way for the USB-C charging port in order to comply with EU standards. A standard port across devices should reduce electronic waste as well as theoretically allow faster charging and data transfer speeds. While Samsung and Apple jostle for top spot in the smartphone market, the Apple Watch enters a market in which Apple is the clear leader. Apple Watches make up close to a third of the overall market, well ahead of the nearest rival, Samsung. The Vision Pro headset was a notable absence from the detailed product reveals, with Apple only using the event to confirm that the headset will be on sale next year. To find out more about these stories and countless others, head over to Statista and join us next month for another round of Month in Data.